What is going on everybody? Kraku here and today going to be doing Sorry about that. Going to be doing um, an update for the combination door lock I did. So in this one I'm not going to be building an entire door lock. With these update videos, I'm going to be essentially just talking about different uh, different components you can add um, and then uh, if, if anybody has any questions on how to actually implement them into a door lock, I can build one of those for you and help you out with that. But in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to build the repeated button. Remember, we had the same digit, but this time three of them instead of just two. All right. Cool. So watch the door. Click one. The SARS Norlech turns on. Two. That one turns on. Three, that one turns on, door opens. So how are we going to do this? We're basically taking the design for two and building an identical copy of it next to each other. Okay, so let's go ahead and start right over here. Um, sorry about that. I'm actually just gonna hop on this world just so I have all of the, all of the things I record uh, all in one map. That is where I was testing it out to make sure it worked. So let's just come over here. We'll come over next to this one. And ch -ch -ch, we will start with polished granite, all right? So you're going to start with a stack of two, one right next to it, the start of the arsenal latch, just like we're used to. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and grab a button really quick. Toss the button on there. All right. Then we'll grab a door, which we'll use as our output. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring the redstone down two. We're gonna we're gonna branch off like we did in two different directions, up and to the right, same as last time. All right, and so this first one, we'll bring it out one more just to give ourselves a little more room. We're just gonna turn to an RSNR latch. So torch, repeater, redstone, block above the torch, and um. Uh, another torch. I'm going to be doing this one just in one solid color since it's all technically one kind of component and um, I don't think, you know, I'm not sure exactly how much this will help with, with such just a small component, but um, I think it, it probably helps kind of visualize the different parts of what's going on so you can see that there are different aspects, but on this one it's all kind of one. All right, very important, very important. I was messing this up when I was testing it. Make sure this one going into the RS Norlatch is a repeater, okay? Uh, that's going to be extremely important. All right, and then we're going to want to branch this redstone line off and then bring it in two directions, okay? And then this first direction, we're going to go ahead and break these three blah. Oh, no, I'm sorry about that. Not going to need the wool break these three blocks so then what we can do is bring redstone right over here build above the hole connect it like that all right so just bring a redstone line above three repeaters make sure they're all set to the highest ticks comparator facing this way click it on all right it's going to be an output now in this one um actually we'll go ahead and do this part first all right, so on this one, we're going to bring it over, bring it here, line it up with this, uh, with the other RS Norlatch. They start in the same place. Same thing, torch, repeater, redstone, block, torch. Easy enough. And then we're going to do the same thing where we branch it out. And we're going to do the exact same thing as this one. So this one, we're going to break out those three blocks, bring the redstone above, like that, and then we'll go repeater, repeater, redstone, which I didn't do on this one. Repeater, redstone, repeater. Okay, now this part isn't important. These repeaters right here that I'm doing, this part is not important since we just have this component. Now, these would be essential if you had it in a combination door lock and you wanted to make it a specific order. So what you could do is let's say you wanted to, um, let's say you wanted it to go, let's let's call this digit zero. So let's say you wanted it to go zero, three, zero, zero. Well, after the first zero, this redstone repeater, you would bring off to wherever the three digit is and bring that reset line back to this one into that one. So, uh, into this one and into the one we're going to build. So 
Uh, that's just something to think about, and that can get confusing, and it's hard to explain without actually showing it. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out to me, and I can explain that in depth more thoroughly. Okay, now same thing. We're going to take three repeaters, one, two, three, max. All right, with our comparator, click it on. And then go ahead and connect the redstone. And when I was doing my test, I completely forgot this. When I was mentioning how important this uh, this repeater is, make sure you have a repeater on this one as well. Because if you don't, if you miss either of those two repeaters, the entire thing won't work. And clicking it once will set all three of them off. Okay? So then we're going to follow the exact same pattern. Bring it out two. Line it up. Make one more RS Nor latch. Torch. Repeater. Redstone. Block. Torch. All right? This one we can only bring it, we only need to bring out one line. We don't need to bring branch it out in two like the others. So on this one, this one you're going to want this first RS Nor latch, the the straight line. These are the output lines. The ones that come out are the three output lines. So on the far left output line, go ahead and toss in um, an inverter into a repeater into a comparator. Click it on. Now this other one, the middle output line. Do not invert it and just bring the signal directly to the comparator. Make sure to put a repeater into the side of it. Now, from the comparator, go repeater, comparator, click it on. All right. And then from the far right output line, bring this out and it will, uh, I'm pretty sure it'll run out of power before it gets there. Yeah, it just does. So just throw a repeater somewhere, anywhere. It doesn't matter. Of course, uh, of course it breaks the block. All right. And then make sure repeater going into the last comparator. And from the comparator, redstone out, and this is our output line. So we'll bring it down here and place our door. Make sure it works. Click it one, click it two, click it three. All right, so this just ran out of power, so I just need to throw a repeater in. There we go. All right, so just to kind of explain what's going on here, the, the different moving parts. So we have one RS NOR latch, okay? And that RS NOR latch, what this line right here does is it brings a, uh, sorry, something stuck. There we go. Sorry, my headphone cord got stuck. Um, this line right here, when everything's off, we'll just go ahead and reset it really quick. In order to reset it, just break the first block and that'll, the, force, the first torch on the first RS NOR latch and it'll reset everything. This brings a current into the comparator, which means the signal won't travel this way. All right, once the first one is clicked, that signal goes away, which means the next time you click the button, the signal can travel to the next uh, to the next RS NOR latch. And the same exact design here, make sure the current doesn't flow this way. After the second one's been done, there's no more current hitting the comparator. It'll flow to the third one. Now, the last part of this the AND gates, okay? So this first one, you want to make sure it's inverted because uh, when you click it, you want that to bring power here. But the ones in the side, you want to invert them because when you turn them off, the way the comparator works is you want this signal to be on and the side signal to be off. So in order to make it to where the front signal is on when the, out, when the input is on and the side signal is off when the input is on, you invert the first one so there's no signal. Don't invert the second one so there is a signal. Um, and that's just due to the fact the design of this RS NOR latch is why you need to invert it and not invert it. Um, and then from this output, we're basically building a second RS NOR latch directly on top of it. So after these two are turned on, power will go through this comparator, through the repeater, into this comparator. And same thing, we want to not invert the third one so that into the side there's power. So when you click the third one, no more power. Power comes through here, out to the output. So... Um, that sh that should make you know a fair amount of sense if you understand how comparators work. If not, I might do a video on comparators because they are a, a little bit confusing. But um, that's sort of the basic design. And then remember these repeaters right here are just if you have other components and you want to order it specifically. And that you can tell from uh, from the design I did. And actually, I'm thinking about in the next update video explaining this way because this one is not in numerical order it goes in a different order so I might explain how that works just to give you an example uh, since this one was in alphabetical order and you might not know exactly what I'm talking about with these repeaters so I can give you an example of that so thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next video